How's it going YouTube? Like usual, the weather's terrible, so I can't really do much today. But what I want to do is I want to show you something quick. Since I've done the camper video, I constantly get one question. So I want to try and answer that for you guys today. I don't think it'll be a long video because I'm not doing anything. I'm just going to show you guys what I've done. I get asked constantly, how do I fit a bike rack with a spoiler? So I'm going to show you how I've done it. Right guys, first thing to do, totally unavoidable, but you've got to do it, is take off the spoiler. Unless you've not fitted it yet, then it makes it a bit easier. But this needs to be removed. Once that spoiler's off, you can just fit the bike rack as normal. Fit it how it's supposed to be, as the instructions tell you to, and then we'll have a look at the spoiler. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I fitted mine. I'll go and find a ladder so we can have a closer look. Honestly, I don't think I could have found a smaller ladder than this. Right, there we are, miniature ladder. Let's see if I can get up and show you. Right, up here, you can see my terrible paint job on the van, because it, to be honest, it's really not a good paint job at all. But I saved a lot of money by doing it myself. It, I could do with a van wrapping or something, really. I'll sort it out later. You can see here, I've literally cut out the spoiler around the bike rack. The bike rack was mounted, and then I've cut it all around so it fits over the top. If I look at the front edge, you can see there how the back of it's cut out so the, so the bike rack's hooked over the, the tailgate like normal and then this is just cut out round it. I've tried to cut a little bit more out so in theory if I wanted to I should be able to unhook this and pull it out and it should fit back out around the spoiler if I need to take this off for any reason. Here's the other side just for a different angle view. You can see there same thing. I've cut it out so it fits round. See if we can see underneath. It's a bit dark, but you get the idea. There it is, it's just cut round it. Same round the back. As you can see, I've cut it out a bit more so it's big enough so this I can go forward, unhook it, and it should pull all the way out with the spoiler still attached. That's literally as difficult as it is. Fit the bike rack, cut the spoiler where the bike rack mounts, fit the spoiler over the top, dud job done. It's not as difficult as people seem to think. I've just cut it a little bit bigger around where it is, so in theory I should be able to take the bike rack off if I need to. But one thing that is important, obviously, you need the spoiler off before you start. It's actually started to rain quite hard now, so I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like this one if it helps you a little bit. See you later. Yeah, I'm actually getting drowned now. Great time to video this.